Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the Leo Sun, Moon and Rising for the year 2018. I want to say thank you so, so much. So much, all you Leos. Um, it has been a wonderful, positive year. Um, I want to say to all you Leos, thank you for being a, such a support, such a wonderful support. Um, in my channel and uh, in all my endeavors, you Leos, I'm so, so grateful. Um, this year of 2018 is a positive year, is a year of a lot of um, uh, materialistic um, um, things ma ma manifesting in your life, uh, money, um, wonderful positive positive things um, good work good um, status of living um, houses cars all that you need um, money to support you in whatever endeavor that you need is in this year for you Leo so it is a very very positive positive year for you Leo's and this is going to be extremely extremely wonderful okay so um the energy of uh, and please remember to share these videos please remember remember to like and share these videos and uh, um i'm asking for each and every person if you'd like to do a donations um if you have been um been with us for a very long time and you'd like to do a donations um the donation button for paypal is there and it is good it's um it doesn't really matter how much it can be a dollar two dollars it doesn't really matter i am looking forward to use this donation to help others uh, um to give uh, gifts out and help with readings so whatever the donation is it's it's good um, please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign and listen and look and see what is coming up for you guys. This year is the year of um, justice and equality. It is the year of justice and equality. So it's a wonderful, positive year. Um, this energy of the year comes back in the, th in the second quarter in the month of May. So this is going to be good. So you Leos that have legal suits in the month of May, it's going to be a very, very positive, positive month for you in the year 2017. So please get pen and paper, write these um, dates down and these information down because um, we are about to give you um, the best months and the dates. Okay. Um, the first quarter is going to be and have the energy of a new beginning. It's going to be you connecting with your spirit guides. It is, uh, you're starting January with the eye princess and with the energy of the eye princess starting out in January, you have also the hermit that is coming by and uh, in March is a new beginning for you guys. What is so strange about your year and I see this uh, um, transforming in your year is that uh, the month of February is a very very lucky month for a lot of people but you guys have uh, the the sense of the hermit where you're going within and connecting with your angels and spirit guides okay and then you have a transformation of a new start in March so your new start is going to come in in March as we look at the second quarter it's a beautiful second quarter so you have to do water um, hair and the uh, and, and the sun your energy so it's powerful um, a lot of you Leos because last year I think you worked with the energy of the lovers the lovers come in and um, the lovers is good because the lovers come in in the month of uh, um, April you have justice uh, and, and, and and so so the second quarter is going to be um, extremely good the second quarter and the last quarter of the year is going to be very positive okay write these months down um, I, I personally feel that a new beginning is good. So March is going to be good for you. Um, March, April, May, and June, July, uh, uh, November, 
um, October, November and December is going to be extremely positive. And it depends with September because a lot of people and I'm seeing this coming up in September. September is a, is a month of clearing. It's a month of healing. It's a month of transformation. It's a month of taking out things. And for you guys, um, the second quarter and the last quarter of the year is going to be extremely, extremely positive. So get pen and paper down and write this number down. Zero, six, eleven, nineteen, seventeen, sixteen. Um, uh, 10, 21, 22, 15. Okay. Again, zero, three. I missed the three out in the first time. So zero, three, six, eleven. Uh, 15, 17, 10, and 19. Okay, I will try and write it at the bottom so you guys have it. So we are going to go in your reading and look at the first month. The first month you have the energy of a water energy. It is the energy of the eye princess. This energy and this water energy is a very positive, promising energy. And this is extremely good. The eye princess comes out and whenever the eye princess comes out, it is a time that you need to connect with yourself and you need to connect with your inner guidance and strength and support. So this is in the month of January. This is going to be good for you guys because what is going to happen is that with the energy of the eye princess, it's going to move you to a place of positive energies. Okay. As we move forward, February is a lucky month, but you guys receive the energy of the hermit. Whenever the energy of the hermit beside the eye princess comes up, that means you have to connect with your inner guides. You have to connect with your spirit guides. You have to connect with your inner um, vision and you are going to see that positive, positive energies are going to come out. This is wonderful and positive for you guys because it is a sense of you connecting with your inner guides, listening to yourself, being at one with yourself in the first two months of the year. In the third month, in the month of March, you have the energy of the fool. So a lot of you people will be changing position. You'll be going. Some people are looking for new jobs. Some people are looking for new part in their life. Some people are trying to manifest certain things and good things are about. Um, most of you are on a journey. Um, you are um, on a positive journey forward in your life. And this is going to be extremely, extremely good. So um, brace yourself for that because you, you are going to see the situation coming up. So to end cap, the first um, three months of the year is both is um, January and uh, February is going to be very emotional, a water energy. And then you have an air energy in March, which is going to be very wonderful and very positive because you're starting out uh, um, new business, um, new journeys, new house, um, new places to go, new things to do in your life. So this is good. Best quarter of the year is um, in the month of um, April, you have a situation with the energy of the lovers, which is very good. This is positive because you're connecting within. Some of you are calling upon your soulmates. Some of you in the dream time are connecting with your angels and guides and soul family. And then they're going to come in the present. As we look at May, a very wonderful month, if you have legal situation, if you have things that has been transpiring in your life, this is now coming to an end. This is um, the uh, dishonesty, um, unbalance, uh, um, the truth and everything is coming out. There is a justice, there is a balance that is coming in for you guys. And this is going to be good in the month of May. May is one, another lucky month also. 
and also for you guys so as we look at june a very promising month whatever you decide to do go ahead and do it it's very promising it's very positive it's good for you yes if you are deciding to move change do a study work connecting with network and that sort of a thing june is going to be that month for you to go ahead and um, get involved do things start things because it's going to be a success so again the second quarter april until from april until um june it's going to be very positive very promising um if there is going to be um decision of divorce and that sort of a thing it's going to end in a positive note so there won't be any problem whatever legal situation you have it's going to end in a positive note, and a lot of success is going to come to you and this is going to be very good as we move on to the second half of the year in the month of july another very promising month and you should um, write these down july is going to be extremely positive it's going to be a very very lucky month and you can see that coming out of june into july that it's going to be extremely positive it's going to be good it's going to be a time where you're going to be feeling yourself moving forward in a very wonderful wonderful um um, place in your life and this is going to be good because all your wishes and dreams that you have been having and wishing for and hoping for is going to come alive in the month and some of you begin your birthday um, the ending of July and the beginning of August so as we move forward with the energy of August we have the hurt energy which is balance and this is good this earth energy is going to connect to you with a lot of people a lot of network a lot of good people coming in your life a lot of new connections that is going to help you and to, and, and and with these new people and situation that's that's coming in your life because this is a general reader and so um, a lot of people are going to have different situations that is happening to them but you are going to be protected by certain organization and that sort of thing and it's going to be positive so your month this is a lucky month so you're going to be lucky you're going to find luck with a lot of people in the month of august as we look at um september it's a wonderful month it's a month of fire so this is good this fire is good because you're breaking away and breaking out of situations that no longer serve you you are making a shift in your life in a very positive way and the shift is going to help you to focus on a lot of stuff in your life and it's going to move you to a place of positivity of um, wonderful practical things which will be happening in your life and this is good because it's as if you're shedding the old and bringing for the new and this is a positive so again your year is really not looking bad because if you look at this quarter too you have the energy of luck um, your luck is coming in and um, you have a grounded energy where you're going to be connecting with a lot of people in organization and you're releasing yourself of that which no longer serving you and taking something much better and positive and making a positive move in your life so the third quarter is also a very very good quarters for you guys as we move forward to the last and final quarter in the month of october you have the energy of the wheel of fortune this is positive this is good this is a wonderful energy that is going to bring you um, positive energy in your life but not only for yourself but also for other people for other situations that are transpiring in your life and this is going to be good the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of money success riches materialistic things and this is uh, um, the month of October is a very very lucky month for you guys so as we move forward we have the energy vibration of uh, um, the energy of um, um, the world and this is good for you guys in November you guys have uh, received most of the best energies for this year and the energy of the, the world is endings and new beginnings and positive successful new beginnings for a lot of you Leos out there so you Leos that have been working hard and trying to make things happen for yourself you are going to see this in the month of November coming up and this is going to be extremely positive okay um, as and this is um, November is an earth energy and this is good and um, this is um, a positive positive year for you guys 
last and final in the month of December you have the energy of the devil and the energy of the devil is helping you because it's a fire energy is wonderful it's positive it's bringing life um, to all your endeavors your work situation study um, whatever you're doing if you work for yourself if you're a freelance and all that sort of a thing the devil is going to open up doors of opportunities for you and this is going to be positive but be aware of the things that you take on okay because you have just shed certain things and now um, you are moving out of that and good positive things are about to come in so if I look at your last quarter, it's very wonderful because the Wheel of Fortune with the world together is always. So you have the Wheel of Fortune in, in the month of October and in November you have the world. This is extremely positive. And as I look at um, July, um, July, October, November and December is just so positive because these are the most positive energies that you can always look for in a reading. So again, um, you Leos are going to be um, very successful, extremely successful um, in this year, um, 2000 and um, 2018, you guys are going to be extremely, extremely successful. So, um, your um, focus in this year as i said so success the empress is governing you this is a wonderful powerful energy to have because you're a fire sign the year is an air energy and with the energy of this queen she is bringing financial abundance and success into your life and this is one of the most beautiful beautiful positive energies you can look for in a reading this the empress is going to help you um, to bring forward support um, riches abundance in your life in this year and this is positive so 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 you Leah's I'm so happy for you guys I, I'm honestly happy for you Leah's okay um, um, I don't see any um, problems that is coming up um, um, not until I start doing the monthly readings then I will see that but for now the year 2018 um, seems to be a very very positive year for you guys so we are going to go forward and we are going to look at the zodiac energies and let's see what's coming out for the Sun people we have uh, um, the energy of scorpion coming out for the Sun people and the energy of scorpion we have the scorpion and the Tauruses. so this is wonderful because um, you Leos are doing very well with um, the, you know you can really work with the Tauruses. the energy of the scorpion is good because you can also have good relationship with the scorpion for the moon people I am seeing Venus love coming out for you moon people planet of Venus with the Capricorns I don't know what is happening but the Capricorn and Venus seems to be coming out for a lot of signs the energy of the Capricorn and Venus is coming out for a lot of signs so let's see what is happening for you Leo's for the Sun people remember if your birthday if you were born between the time of 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are a Sun person and here you have the energy of the scorpion so a lot of you will be connecting with the scorpions and the Taurus people and this is this is wonderful and this is powerful because you are a fire sign and you're connecting with the water sign and the scorpions are going to be helping you to open up your psychic ability and the Tauruses are going to be helping you in business so this is good and you know the scorpion and the Taurus could be helping you out in a work study and business so these two energies comes up because they're powerful and they are about to help you to move you to a place where positive situations are going to come in your life so this is good as we look at the moon rising people what is happening for you moon rising people we have the energy um, of uh, the planet of Venus and the planet of Venus is a love planet it's a wonderful love planet and you are going to be connecting with a lot of ta um, Capricorns so um, you Leo's are going to be sensing this sense of connecting with the Capricorns coming in and the Capricorns they are after 
half heart and half water sign and most people are not aware of this but the capricorns are good and it's as if in 2018 they are vibrating in an higher unconditional um, sense of love because they're coming in for a lot of fire people to help them and as you look at your reading there's a lot of heart signs a lot of heart um, help uh, you have the air vent you have the world that came in for you and the and, and the empress as your overall energy so this is going to be extremely positive and this is going to be good for a lot of you Leos especially with the car the scorpion people you can get a especially um, for for you um, Leos that were born between 6 p.m. and and and, and 12 a.m. 6 p.m. and and 12 a.m am it is a positive positive energies that is coming in for you guys okay we are working with um, the ascendance master because it is a time that we're going through ascension so we're calling up on the angels and guides to show us um, who will be supporting which one of the ascendance masters will be supporting the Leos in the year 2018 and we have room and the veil of illusions okay all right um so you leas for the people who are not aware that i have wrote a book on spirituality the name of the book is remove the veil of illusion if you um check my youtube channel and my website you can find this book and this um, card says to you veil of illusions okay when we incarnated we go through the veil of an um, um, amenis amenis and the seven veil of illusions so who we truly are when you dissolve those veils you become fully enlightened to do this you're called on to take mystery ma believe in the spirit world practice unconditional love honor animals and the nature kingdom walk with the masters and angels see that all is connect and finally live as an enlightened being you are invited to ask the unicorns to work with you to remove your veil of illusions so that you can become an enlightened master and your affirmation is i am one with everything so this is wonderful the unicorn seems to be coming in a lot of readings um in this year a lot of readings seems to be having the energy vibration of the unicorns and your affirmation for this year is that I am one with everything. I am one with everything. So again, for the people who weren't aware of my book, Remove the Veil of Illusions, I've wrote a book that was published in 2015, Remove the Veil of Illusions. And by doing this, you are going to be um, in a positive energy vibration. And you can see that because the tower came up in September, that is going to help you to remove um, the veil of illusions and uh, this is this th this this is wonderful because what what is happening here is that I princess and the hermit is in the month of January and February and they came in to remove your veil of illusions and this is so positive because uh, it's a good thing I do I pick the card online so you can see that I didn't just randomly or pick it you saw that I picked it online so this is a confirmation that uh, this year um, you need to remove the veil of illusions and I princess and the hermit came in in the two first months to do this let's move forward I'm using the um, as the Aztec cards and this is um, everyone um, that is of a soul um, there is a record and that is known as the Aztec records and it is here okay so let's see oh my gosh you got Archangel Raphael too <laughs> okay um okay all right you guys have um, received Archangel Raphael also this is wonderful the energy of Archangel Raphael comes in Archangel Raphael is a wonderful positive um, person 
um, and he brings you abundancy so if you need a miracle for a financial situation or whatever situation that is happening this is good because Archangel Raphael comes in also for you guys okay so it's healing and abundancy he brings always healing and abundancy and this is wonderful because what this is doing for you is that uh, with the healing and abundancy whatever that you need is about to take place in your life so okay let's look forward and let's see what is happening here and we have okay I, I i don't know why um there's a lot of energies that is coming in this one also came in i think for the air sign people and it says at days and rest i find peace in nature and rest my body mind and soul in order to connect to spirit it is so and it will be so leos please find sometimes at the end of the day to rest you need to rest it is very important that in this year of 2018 you're going to rest and bring in as you rest you can connect with your soul family the intergalactic and beams and you can connect with yourself also and your mighty i am present will connect with you and it is good as you take time to rest if even you're having sleeping problem take some time to rest because by taking some time to rest you're going to see these positive situations coming out in your life so this is going to be good as we move forward we are looking at the last and final energies for you guys and we have the angels of abundancy and let's see what is it for the Leos that is going to come in for abundance for you, Leos. Seven vows of promise. Savor the vows of, pol of, of um, poverty. Dear one, there are no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self denial that you may have made consciously or un unconsciously in any lifetime before as you do so all effect of these vow will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of time so you need to savor the vow of poverty so for the people who have been going through poverty restricted um, um the, you need to savor you need to release the vow of poverty you need to say i now declare and release all vows of poverty in this lifetime and all lifetime to come and this is it and so will it be okay so you need to release the vow of poverty in all the lifetimes and lifetimes to come so this is going to um, be what you need to do in this year okay so if you'd like a personalized reading um, to deal with that sort of a thing you can always connect with me and ask for a personalized reading um, the year readings are still going on this will be ending the 31st of um, March um, for a year reading is $45 um, and you can always uh, ask because that reading takes like an hour a whole lot of in-depth information in the months to come for you because this is a general reading I want to say to each and everyone please share these videos and thank you so much for the support the likes and share please thumbs up please make sure that other people get to find these reading by um, sharing them share them on Facebook like and share them because it's going to be a very positive year for you guys and you guys need to let the energy of this um, year comes out for you guys it is a year of you removing the, the veil of illusions you removing that which no longer serve you you understanding that if things are not working out you need to let go of things and move on and choose something else and understand how the flow and the energies that you carry out can work out for you you need to understand that you are one with um, with everything around you and you this is what this the year is going to begin you when 
in the month of January and February, it is going to teach you to learn to go back to source, to go back to the beginning of everything, to understand who you are as a true spiritual being. You need not to, uh, to um, step back and give people your power, but you need to stand up and understand that you are the one that can... Um, give away your power to people and stand up and make sure that you um, stand up for the right things in your life. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to each and every person out there, I am wishing you a wonderful, wonderful new year. Please like, share these videos, listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. General readings are also up for the year 2008. And I am saying namaste until next time.